Welcome to this tutorial on structures from database in JMOL. In this tutorial, we will learn to load chemical structures from PubChem database and convert 2D structures drawn in GChempaint to 3D models in JMOL. To follow this tutorial, you should be familiar with JMOL application. If not, Watch the relevant tutorials available at our website. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu operating system version 12.04, JMOL version 12.2.2, Java version 7, Gchempaint version 0.12.10, Mozilla Firefox browser 22.0. I have opened a new JMOL application window. JMOL has a feature to load structures of compounds listed in the database. The file menu on the menu bar has an option Get Mol. This loads molecules from chemical structure database PubChem. It also has another option Get PDB to load protein structures from protein data bank. This feature will be explained in detail in another tutorial. To load a chemical structure on the panel, click on Get Mall. An input dialog box opens on the screen. Any molecule listed in the database can be loaded by typing the following in the text box. Common name or IUPAC name, CAS number, CID number, Inchi identifier or SMILES identifier. Please visit PubChem database website for information on identification numbers for a particular chemical. Let us display phenol on screen. So type phenol in the input text box. Click on OK button. A model of phenol is displayed on the panel. We can modify the display of phenol using various rendering options. These options are listed in the menu bar and pop-up menu. We can add substituents to the benzene ring of phenol. First, let us label the atoms in the model. Click on the display menu and select label. Click on number option. Now let's replace a hydrogen number 10 attached to the carbon number 4 with an amino group. Open the model kit menu. Select nitrogen from the option. Click on hydrogen number 10. This is a molecule of para amino phenol on the panel. We will change the display to sticks display. Exit the model kit menu. Open the pop-up menu, scroll down to style, select scheme and click on sticks option. On the panel, we have a model of para-aminophenol in sticks display. Complex structures which are difficult to create can easily be loaded on the panel. For example, cholesterol. Click on file menu, click on get mall option. In the text box, type cholesterol. Click on OK button. A molecule of cholesterol is displayed on the panel. We can highlight the features like double bond and side chain in the molecule. To highlight double bond, let us first change the color of carbon atoms of the double bond. Click on select atoms icon in the toolbar. Then. Click on the carbon atoms involved in the double bond. A yellow halo appears around the atoms. Open the pop-up menu, scroll down to colors, select atoms and click on orange option. Now click on the rotate molecule option in the toolbar. The double bond in the cholesterol model is now in orange color. Similarly, we can highlight the carbons in the side chain. Using pop-up menu, change the color to violet. On the panel, 
we have a model of cholesterol with important features highlighted. As an assignment, load structure of caffeine from PubChem database. Highlight the important features in the molecule. Modify the display to wireframe. Now I will discuss another important feature of JMOL. We can convert 2D structures of molecules drawn in another software into 3D models. Here I have a model of amino acid alanine on the panel. 2D structure of this molecule was drawn in a software called GChem Paint. The structure was saved as a .mol file. GChem Paint is an open source software for drawing 2D chemical structures. Tutorials on GChem Paint are available at the following link. To draw structures and save in .mol format, refer to analysis of compounds tutorial. Shown on this GChem Paint display area are 2D drawings of amino acid alanine, nucleoside adenosine and a saccharide alpha-D-glucopyranose. I have saved them in .mol format on my desktop. First, let's view the 2D structure of alanine as 3D model in JMOL application. So I will open a new JMOL window. Click on open a file icon in the toolbar. I will choose desktop folder and click on open. Choose the file alanine.mol and click on open button. A 3D model of alanine opens on screen. Open the model kit menu and click on fix hydrogens and minimize option. Hydrogens are added to the structure and the energy minimized. As with any .mol file, we can change the display using menu bar and also pop-up menu. Here is the 3D model of adenosine in JMOL. And this is a 3D model of alpha-D-glucopyranose in JMOL. Let's summarize. In this tutorial, we have learnt to load chemical structures from PubChem database, modify the display of phenol and cholesterol, convert 2D structures drawn in GChem Paint to 3D models in JMOL, convert 2D structures of alanine, adenosine and alpha-D-glucopyranose to 3D models. Here is another assignment for you. Draw 2D structures of the following amino acids in GChem Paint, cysteine, histidine and phenylalanine. Save as .mol files. Open the files in JMOL and modify the display. Watch the video available at this URL. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials. Give certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. This is Nehalata from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.